You see this big ass building right here? This is actually a hotel. Um, and this is not just an ordinary hotel. First of all, it's expensive as fuck because we're obviously at the Bahamas. But one of these rooms was actually owned by Michael Jackson, the real one. And or two guy told us this room was $55,000 a night. And not only that, you had to pay for at least four nights. So that's $220,000 for four nights in the same room as Michael Jackson. And you're probably thinking, that's a fuck ton of money, I can't imagine anyone doing that. It's booked for the next five years. Can you imagine how much money this hotel is getting? It's absolutely incredible. We can be okay. We can be alright. 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 Must have been to eleven when the world ended. At least it felt like it at the time. Do you see these white buildings? They're all basically flats. You can only buy these rooms. And they're not even that big. But you know what they're asking for it? One million dollars per room. And that's light, gas, etc. excluded. One million dollars for a room here. The money that's being spent on the Bahamas, it's... You could feed the entirety of Africa, no fucking joke. Teenage years make a heartbreak worse, plus a lot was going on, couldn't stop it at the time, dad tried to flip the house. Funny that it all landed upside down, no for being optimistic, started feeling different, couldn't fix it, started writing lyrics, all because nobody tried to hear it. Around the same time, hooked to the nicotine, music and the smoke were synonymous to me, it seemed. So you see these two houses? These are actually the houses of Oprah Winfrey and Tiger Woods. And yes, it's kind of weird, but... Um, or two guy told us they have these houses next to each other. Obviously, these aren't their only houses. They're rich as hell. Um, but both of them have houses on the Bahamas. And they just happen to be next to each other. Paid prices through the vices, both sides. Obsessed with a vision. I knew I could make mine. I knew it would take time. I knew they would doubt shine. Thought it was just music. Didn't know that they would take sides. Freestyle at the party. They said, turn it down. Sorry, was I talking over what you're gossiping about? Small town with dreams that didn't involve skis. Looking at me like a weirdo outside of the scene. Stuck to my friends. Stop fucking with fair weather. But the maple. Showers brought out the Mayweather Didn't know what I was doing But I knew I couldn't stop Wasn't slowing down Even when my fourth tape dropped Around the time I was drunk Most my freshman year but so focused on my craft That my grades got weird wasn't made for degrees went home then i went back early 14 all my friends had new friends and i lived off campus in a dingy apartment on a twin bed mattress sucked but i kept my grades up for a bit i would kick it with some homies every now and again but the laramie cold was keeping me inside and i was smoking on the green when i needed to write wasn't able to sleep or even write without it and being alone made my anxiety spike if i was hanging with the group i was drinking that night couldn't handle being out without a drink in my sight was a mess working on the science of feeling tall if it wasn't for that tape i wouldn't get it at all recording on a mic that was USB. Thankfully, I had Craig making all of my beats. Still struggling, trying to be heard. Still a joke back home, stuck in his work. Drop science to dead silence. I was like, word. They don't get it yet, but I swear that it's gonna work. Went back home for the summer, met up with a girl that I used to love. But I was all messed up at the time because I couldn't deal with thinking about another end to us. She brought me back to life back in senior year. Couple months of that, and then she disappeared. She explained to me, and it made sense to me that I couldn't move forward with a heart. No, I would move to Seattle then. Home never let me stay too long, I guess.
wasn't making money, so I headed out to AI. Art school, so I thought, cool, I'ma be fine. Family wanted a degree, cool, I'ma get mine. Not sure if I made the move for me at the time, I just had to get out. I was just tired of being home. Every ounce of my future was riding on a microphone. That's a lot of pressure, even for a condenser with no measure to measure up. My music was truly meant to deliver. Fell in love with the city, fell back in love with my art. I was truly in the present, I learned to follow my heart. So, just a few things I want to say after ending this vlog series, really. Um, if you're ever looking for a cruise to go on, if you have the money to do it, then go on the MSC Seaside, the Caribbean cruise, and go to the MSC Seaside with the locations I visited. I would highly recommend it. Um, I'd say this is definitely in my top three, if not top one best vacations of, of my life. Um, I had a fucking blast, and... Every time I think about it and every time I watch my own vlogs and every time I'm editing these vlogs, I just get a big ass smile on my face because this experience is something I, I, I will never forget. I'm definitely going on more cruises after this because I'm fucking sold. Dude. This, this was the best trip of my life. I want to thank you all for watching. I want to thank you all for supporting. For some reason, these videos got a lot more views than my regular ass videos and I appreciate that. Um... I hope you get a little bit of insight if you're going on a cruise. Um, if you just like traveling, I hope you liked it. I, I tried my best with the editing and shit, but I filmed it on my phone and some of the clips are just super shaky and I can't really do anything about that because I'm not going to buy a vlog camera for vlogging a couple times a year. Um, I, I I just tried to make the most of it. That I hope I delivered. So like I said, thank you all for the support on these. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, on November the 16th, um, I'm going to Helsinki for a weekend and I'm actually gonna uh, make a video on that as well. So uh, if you like vlogging every once in a while, then, then stay tuned. Um, if you don't like the other stuff, then it's fine. Just watch my vlogs and I'm already satisfied enough. This vlog series really, really made me feel like um, some people actually watch my videos and that was, that was nice to see for a change. Um, so like I said, thank you very much for watching. Um, thank you very much for liking and if you liked it even more then definitely hit the subscribe button because I will be I, I will be posting vlogs for the entirety of my life probably because I love traveling and um, other than that I um, I'll see you guys in the next vlog which is probably gonna be Helsinki so um, have a good one see ya truly independent and finally making my mark 18 worldwide with steady light and a spark 100k Couple million and tens, views gone crazy. I was over the fence, I was over the moon and the Neverland drop. That right there, what I'm never gonna land off. AI wasn't really what I thought it would be, but I met a couple friends I've been happy to keep. Left that summer back home again. Then I started plotting out how the team would win. We decided it was time that we all should meet overseas with the team for a couple of weeks. Patrick, Craig, Glenn, Gustav, and me set up in a cabin south of Stockholm streets. Five musicians, four countries, one album. Took five years to make this our outcome. Used to ask how come now they ask how. I just believed in it way more than most out. I just remained me and painted what I've seen. Painting you all the lows and highs in these dreams. All the pleasure and pain, the sun that came at the rain. Now we on our way, life will never be the same.